The pick is in. The New York Giants have made a selection in the 2024 NFL Draft alongside Locked On College football host Spencer McLaughlin. I am Tanitra Batiste, and we are joined by Patricia Trena of Locked On Giants to break down the Locked On Giants selecting Tyler Newbin with the number 47 pick and Andrew Phillips with the number 70 pick. So, Patricia, what do you think about the Giants picking the safety out of Minnesota? I love this pick. I absolutely love it for a number of reasons. Number one, you go back, the Giants lost two Pro Bowl caliber safeties in uh, Julian Love the, uh, a couple of years ago, and then uh, Xavier McKinney this past offseason. They go and they get this rookie, Tyler Newbin, who was a record setter of, at uh, for Minnesota, where he played his college ball. He's a ball hawk. He's got great skills. He can play any position, strong safety, deep uh free safety, the slot, the versatility is there. I mean, is he a polished product? No, no college uh, rookie is going to be polished, but this kid I think is going to be an instant impact player for this team. He's going to compete for the spot, obviously, that was vacated by McKinney's departure, but I love his skill set and I love the, I just love the value that they got at that pick. And how about the Giants adding to their secondary again with the pick of Andrew Phillips out of Kentucky? This pick, I'm maybe not as enthusiastic about this pick as I am about the this, this second round one. Not Nothing personal against Andrew Phillips, but here's the thing. The Giants in the offseason tr- have a, a hole. They don't have cornerback two on the roster. They tried to fill it with veterans. So they weren't able to do that. So everybody said, okay, they're going to do it in the draft, which made sense given it's a deep quarterbacks, uh, cornerbacks class. Excuse me. So Andrew Phillips is a very good athlete, but he's still a little wet behind the ears as far as starting experience goes. Joe Shane, the general manager, told reporters tonight that he's probably going to take the same career path as Cordell Flott, a a third-round pick a couple years ago, and that he's going to start in a slot. This being Phillips is going to start in a slot and then maybe have that flexibility to go outside. So I'm not sure the Giants address cornerback too. Maybe they feel that they got the guy already on the roster. Maybe they feel they're going to be able to get one. So this pick, I mean, for a third round pick, I don't know. I kind of want somebody who who's going to come in and has a, a legitimate chance, a really good chance of making an impact. I don't know if this young man's going to be able to do that in his first year, but he does have a lot of upside. So I don't hate the pick, but I felt like it could have been a little bit better or they could have gone in a different direction there. For more on the Giants, subscribe to Lock on Giants on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. So for you, Spencer, which DB do you think is going to have the biggest impact, immediate or long term? for the Giants. I, I like Newbin out of these two. I'll, I'll go with uh, Patricia here. I'm not quite as down necessarily on Phillips as, as she might be, but I, I think the lack of starting experience is a real concern. But for Newbin, ball hawk feels like an understatement with, with this guy. He, he's just got the ability to dissect a play and react in a way that allows him to be in position to make a play on the football. And, and if you're a quarterback, certainly you know, NFL quarterbacks are going to be better at this than the ones he went up against in the Big Ten, where they don't exactly have a great lineup of quarterback play on a week-in, week-out basis. But if you lock on to one particular target and you don't shift your eyes or move the safety around the way quarterbacks are taught to at the highest level, Newbin is going to make you pay because he'll know where you want to go with the football. I I think his preparation really came through in the plays that he made when he's intercepting the football, because you just watch him and go, it's almost like he knew the play. Like he he understood what was going to come up and and where guys were going to be. Looks at the quarterback side, boom, goes and makes a play. And and oftentimes he was almost there early. Like his his anticipation, I think, is his greatest asset. So I'll I'll take Newbin uh, of, of these two DB picks for the Giants. For continuing coverage of the 2024 NFL Draft, subscribe to Locked On NFL on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day.